Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make this abstract scene here in Blender. We're going to be using Blender 2.83. We're going to be using the Render Engine EV. Um, it's a pretty simple scene as you can see here. Um, I'm going to be providing these models, um, the rose and the spider in the description below. So I'll just quickly show you, you can get them for 100% free. So this is my spider here that you can download um, on BlendSwap. And this is a model by somebody else. So full credit to this guy over here who made it. Um, I did not make the rose, but the spider is mine. Both of these you can download for 100% free. And once you've done that, put them on your desktop wherever. We can get right into this tutorial. And I'll show you guys how to make this and hopefully you can make it even better than I did. Okay, so when you see an open up in Blender, we're gonna select all of our default objects here. We're gonna go X and we're gonna go delete. Then we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna go to our mesh options. We're gonna add in a plane. With this plane selector, we're gonna tab into edit mode and we're gonna go S nine and we're gonna hit enter. So we've scaled it up nine times. We're then gonna right click, we're gonna to go to subdivide. We're gonna come down here to our subdivide tab and we're gonna come here to number of cuts and we're just gonna make it um, 55 cuts. We're gonna hit enter. Then we're gonna tab out of edit mode. We're gonna to go to our modifiers. We're gonna to go to add modifier and we're gonna be adding in a displacement modifier over here. We're gonna go down to this little texture panel. We're gonna go new and we're gonna make the type here a cloud. Then we're gonna come over here to this little, um, this the tool icon here, back to our modifiers. And we're gonna come here to the strength and we're just gonna decrease that a little bit. We're then gonna go and add a subdivision surface modifier on this. Then we're gonna go to our object and we're gonna enable shade smooth. Okay, so now we have this nice backdrop here. We're then gonna to go to our right orthographic view by hitting free on our number pad. We're gonna tab into edit mode. We're gonna go into our wireframe. Then we're gonna select all of these vertices here in the back. And we're gonna go back into our right orthographic view. Just go to your um, proportional editing here. We're gonna go G, Z, and just bring this up and increase your fall off just to bring those vertices along, just like that. And then we're gonna disable that again, tab out of edit mode. And now we're gonna add in our objects. So the first thing we're gonna add in is the spider. So we're gonna go file, append, and I just put the file on, uh, I put the file on my desktop. So I'm gonna get the spider uh, model here. And once again, that will be in the description below. Go and get the spider and just append it. And here you can see it has appended into our scene now. Then we're gonna go file and we're gonna append one more time. We're gonna go and get the rows and we're gonna go to the object here. We're just gonna hit A to select everything and then append. And then we're just gonna go G, X and just move all of this over to the side. Delete this plane over here and all of these other objects like the lamps and the empties, just delete them. We're also gonna delete the, um, the stem of the rose here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit um, and select all of these guys here, just make sure to select them all. And then we're gonna go G, X, and just move them back to our spider scene here. Okay, and then we're gonna go S, we're gonna scale them down. We're gonna go to our right orthographic view and we're just gonna go G and just bring them down here and then R to rotate them forward a bit, and then G to move them forward. So we want to position just like that. So those two leaves there are sitting in between the legs of our spider. You can scale this down a bit more if you want. Just mess around with it until you get something you like. And then with those all still selected, we're gonna go Shift D, we're gonna duplicate it, bring it down here and S to scale it down a bit more, and just put it here in front of our spider, like that. Maybe just rotate it forward a bit more. Just something like this. And then what we're gonna do is in our front view, we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our camera options, add in a camera. We go to our right orthographic view, we're gonna go G, Z, and bring this guy up. And then G, bring it out here. And then we're gonna go R to rotate the camera here. We go to our camera settings, we're gonna go to the type here, we're gonna make it an orthographic camera. Then we're gonna go to our output settings, we're gonna make the Y resolution 19. 20 over here. So now if we hit zero to go into a camera view, we can see our spider scene here. And um, just go back to your camera settings here. And what I think we might actually do is just make it perspective, but we'll actually just bump the focal length up to 95. Um, but you can leave it on orthographic if you want, but I think I'm just gonna go with perspective and make the focal length 95. Maybe that just looks a bit better. Okay, so here we have the um, layout. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna add some really cool materials and some really nice lighting and just make it look awesome. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna come over here to our render settings. We're gonna come to our render engine. We're gonna make sure it's set to EV. 
we're gonna come down here and enable our ambient occlusion. We're gonna enable the bloom as well and also the screen space reflection. So just enable these three here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna to go to our, um, just our empties here, we're gonna add in a cube. Go to your right of graphic view, go S to scale this cube down, and then G to move it up here. We're just gonna put it in front of our spider's head here. And we're gonna be using this later as a reference for this, um, for the focus of our camera, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go Shift A, we're gonna to go to our light options, add in an area light, go to the light settings here. We're gonna make this power value 1300, hit enter. Then come to the size here and just increase it to about six meters. Go G, Z, and just bring it up in the scene. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it out over here and then we're gonna go R just to rotate it. And then we're gonna to go to our top view, just rotate it in like this. So what we're trying to achieve is just what you see over here, just a um, light, an area light at this position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift D, duplicate it, and just bring it over here as well. And um, just roughly place it like I'm placing it. So we got one over here coming down from the front and we got one over here at the side. So let's go into our camera view by hitting zero. Let's go Z and let's go rendered. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, so that's okay. But what we wanna do as well is we wanna add in a HDRI. So I'm gonna, I have a few already on my computer, but you can go to somewhere like HDRI Haven and download a HDRI file. So what you're gonna do once you have a file that you've downloaded, there's a whole bunch of them online. Um, you can come here to your world settings, click on this little tab. We're gonna go to environment texture, hit open, and then you can just get one that you like. So I'm just gonna go with one that I like. I'm just gonna add it to my scene. And I'm gonna bump the strength down to 0.4. And I'm gonna leave it at that for now. So let's get into our material. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select the floor over here. And with the floor selected, we're gonna go into our shading tab here. Just make sure to go back into our camera view, make sure we're in rendered. And with that floor selected, we're gonna go new and we're gonna create, name this material floor. And with this floor material, we're gonna come over here to our base color and we're gonna make the base color like a dark kind of gray, like this. And when it come to the roughness, we're gonna bring it down to 0.2. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna get a bump note, so search and type in bump. Place the bump note over here. We're gonna take the normal, plug it into the normal here. Then we're gonna go Shift A, search, we're gonna get a color ramp node. I'm gonna take the color, plug it into the height over here. And then what we're gonna do is bring the black value up a little bit and bring the white value in a bit. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna search and get a noise texture. We're gonna take the color, plug it into the factor here. And we're gonna make the scale 12. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options, um, not our mesh options, we're gonna go search and get a texture coordinate node to so type in texture and get a texture coordinate. And we're gonna plug the object into the vector here. And then we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're gonna get one more thing. It's gonna be a mapping node to so type in mapping. We're gonna place the mapping node in between the texture coordinate and the noise texture. And we'll come here to the scale, the X scale, and we're gonna make it 36 and we're gonna hit enter. And once we've done that, we're gonna come over here to our strength and we're just gonna make it 0.1 and we're gonna hit enter. And you're probably not gonna be able to see too much at the moment, but we will eventually um, sort things out. So with that done, let's um, just go to our world settings and just decrease the strength here to 0.2 for now. It's a little bit too much. And um, let's m add a material to the spider. So with the spider, we're just gonna first of all select all of this, um, these nodes here. We're gonna go right click, we're gonna go copy. Then we're gonna select our spider here. We're gonna go new and just call it spider. And we're just gonna go X to delete these nodes here. And then we're gonna go right click and we're gonna go paste. I'm gonna paste in these nodes here. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna make this a kind of like golden brown kind of um, caramel material. I'm gonna drag the metallic value all the way up to one. And then we're gonna come and just bring, leave the roughness as it is for now. So you can see we have this nice gold looking material here. And also with our floor here, if we just select it, we also wanna drag that value all the way up to one on the metallic. So now things are looking a lot better. And that's kind of the look we're going for here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this rose, select any one of these petals, we're gonna go new and just call it um, rose. 
And we're just also gonna delete these nodes here by hitting X and then we're gonna go Control V and paste these in. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come here to the base color and we're just gonna make it a nice red like this. And if we bring the roughness up a little bit um, and come here to the scale, we're gonna make the scale five, just hit enter. Um, it's looking good, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna add that same material to the rest of the pedal. So what we're gonna do is go to right view. With this guy still active, we're gonna hit C. And we're just gonna select the rest of these pedals here. Just select them and make sure to select the original one holding in shift. So now this one with the material is active, we're gonna go Control L, and we're just gonna link all of those materials. So now they should all have it. And we're just gonna do the same thing with these guys down here. So just select all of the things that don't have, all of the pedals that don't have the material to them. Just go ahead and select them. Also just going to select all of these guys here. And we're gonna make sure to select a pedal holding in shift that has the material. We're gonna go Control L and we're just gonna link those materials. So now all of them should have that material. If we go into our camera view, we should see this right here. And with this rose material, we can definitely um, mess around with some of these settings here. I think with the strength and the bump, we can take that up a little bit, the bump strength. And we can make the red here a little bit more saturated, like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my camera, I'm gonna go G and hold in the middle mouse button and just zoom into the scene a little bit more to be a little bit closer here. And maybe with the spider, I'll make this a little bit less saturated, the gold. And now what we're gonna do is we're also just going to add some depth of field to our camera. So we're gonna select the camera here. We go to our camera settings, we're gonna enable depth of field, click this little drop down. We're gonna click on a little eyedropper on the focus object. We're gonna select that empty. And then we're gonna set this f-stop value to 0.5 and we're gonna hit enter. And now we're gonna go and have a look at our render. So now we have that nice depth of field, which looks really good. And what you can do is you can mess around with the scale of this floor material here. Um, try something like free, see what it looks like. And you can also increase the bump on that a little bit. And just mess around with things, but this is kind of like what I went with with my original. And um, yeah, just make it look really cool. So let's quickly give this a test render and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we have the final render. Um, you guys can spend as much time as you want. I, I did fiddle a lot with my original one that I made, but this looks pretty cool. It's really abstract, but really cool. And um, you guys can make it as visually interesting as you want, spend as much time as you want. I'm gonna leave that tutorial at this. So if you do make this scene or you make it even better than mine, go ahead, share it on Instagram, show me what you made. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing it. And um, I'll see you guys for another tutorial and yeah, stay safe.